She's the country's premier paper flower artist who has been featured in many magazines. Now she is the author of her first book, The Exquisite Book of Paper Flowers, A Guide to Unbelievably Realistic Paper Blooms. And her name is Livia Chetty. Livia, welcome to my show. Hi, Kevin. It's Thank you. It's so nice to have you I'm here. I'm blushing. You are blushing. <laughs> Do you find that paper flowers are coming back into style? Yeah, I mean, I kind of see them everywhere. And what do you attribute that to, the fact that people are crafting or? People are crafting. They want to make stuff and they want to decorate. Fresh flowers covering a whole wall is really expensive. But if you do it off paper, it's it's so much more affordable. And you made it and it's special and you get to keep it. And there is almost no occasion that you can't use these things for. Yeah. And just even in normal day life, I mean, they look beautiful as objects just on a stack of books, you know, or... I have one hanging on a lamp. It looks really pretty. And one hanging kind of on a painting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They're just kind of beautiful objects that you can make. Would you say that people are intimidated by them because they look hard? I think that I've been doing a lot of demystification. Uh And people are like, oh, that's it. That's easy. Right. What was the first paper flower you ever made? I made a hibiscus, and I was using that double-sided, double crepe paper. It uh-huh. comes in all those beautiful colors. And I was looking at them, and I'm like, but they fade. They, like, gradiate. How can I do that? And I came up with the idea to dip them in bleach. Mm-hmm. So then I kept sneaking into my basement and dipping other papers, and that's kind of where it all started. So I see that in front of us we have some floral tape, scissors. Fringing scissors. Fr- fringing scissors. But you don't have to use. You can just, it's just a labor saver. Okay, well, we like labor savers. Yeah, these are wire cutters. Wire cutters. Straight floral wire. Okay. You can bend them later. I'm, I'm basically cutting strips of tissue paper. But you're not cutting it all the way down. You're no, just fringing it. No, I'm cutting it end. like a uh, quarter of an inch or so down. Then you just kind of gather it around till it looks nice and full. Uh huh. Um, and then you attach it with floral tape. Stretching is what activates the stickiness. The adhesive. Yeah, the quality. adhesive. So. Um, looks you, like a carnation. Yeah. Basically, you're you're pulling on this hand to stretch the tape, and then you're twisting. Twisting. So it's a coordination thing. It's a little awkward, but I've. I've taught a ton of people to do it. Okay. okay. And then? Which color do you like? Um, orange. That's a good poppy color. And you take four sheets and you okay. crinkle it up. You just break, break down the fiber of the paper. Right. And then you... Um, Unfurl it. And you basically just do this. This is a real crinkly flower. The petals are real crinkle, so you want to, like, pinch it, you know, and get it crinkly. Oh, boy, yours is much more crinkled than mine is. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Your book, The Exquisite Book of Paper Flowers, A Guide to Making Unbelievably Realistic Paper Blooms, is so beautiful and inspiring, and I really think everybody should get it for Mother's Day. (laughs) 